Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. I got a very interesting question from my student. What is the differences between the blend and also fitted curve? And I would like to use the, this video to explain the differences. Are you ready? Let's get started. Before we start doing the comparison, I wanted to point out that in the Rhino, you do have the curve tool and you also have surface tool. They both have the fillet and also the blend on both of them. And I also will talk about the differences between those. Let's take a look on the curve first. Saying that I have a curve right now and it's going to go this way, I'm going to hold in my shift and creating a corner right there. And if you are going to use the fitted command, it's living under the curve tool and you have the fitted curve. If you just type it fitted, that will be for fitted curve. And I'm going to change the radius here for 15. Hit enter and you're going to click on two line, which is already connected. So one is on this side and the other is on this side. And that way you can get this really nice arc right there. So this is for the fitted and what is for the blend if we creating a line here and this line right here. Since this two line is not connected to each other, so there's no way you can use fitted. Fitted has to be connected to each other. In this case, we are using the blend command and here we're going to use click on here, click on here. And then you click on two and you're going to have this window popping up. You can go position, which is also the degree one. You go from one point to the other one. Most of the time it will look more like a chamfer and you can go tangency. So you got two control point right there. And then you got curvature and you got three control point right there. So it's the more control point that you have, it's going to be more pointed. So we're going to stay with the tangency because this is more like a blend there. Let's click. Okay. Now this one is separated from those. They all separate. This one I have it automatically joined. But this one you do have a chance to choose both sides which you're going to get more close to the corner or not. And that's for the blend. Then in this scenario they actually look really close on those. However, blend can do a lot more things because they don't have to be connect. For example, if I have a curve going to go like from this way and I have another curve going to go like this way, in this case, you can only use the blend to creating this bridge right here. You want to pick up this corner right here. You're also going to pick up another corner right there. And at the same time, you can adjust how you like to blend it. So blend does give us a lot more freedom. You can also pick up the other side uh, for the end to blend. So I want to blend it in between here and I also want to blend it between here. So then we can have this type of a blend as well. All right. So in this scenario, they are really similar in this scenario. Blend does have a lot more freedom. The same thing is going to happen to the surface. I got two set of a surface right there. Uh, one is connected, one is not. It's really similar idea than what we have over here. So let's give it a try. We're going to use the surface tool. You have fitted surface. It's going to ask you what the radius you're going to have. I'm going to use 15 right here. It's going to ask you selecting two surface. So that's the first surface. That is the second surface. And that's how we get this one really close to the fitted curve. The same thing is going to happen right here. If I'm going to have the two surfaces that's not touching each other, I'm going to use the blend tool. It's going to ask me to blend from first edges to the second edges of the surface. And again, you can choose in between position, tangency or curvature. All right. Uh, so you got those freedom to choose them. Not only like that, what if the surface that you're going to blend is not equal edges? For example, this edges right here, I'm just going to do 1D scale, something like this. So I need to blend in between those two and we can use the blend surface command. We're going to pick up this edges and also this edges, right? And it will give you a little bit tweak there. But it's still a valid surface. Uh, you can also adjust it to make them a bit lower on different side um, to get more various uh, surface. And that is the magic of the blend surface. 
So I hope that answered your question about the differences between the fillet and blend. In some cases, they do look similar, but they do have a different function for use this type of a command. If you'd like to know more about my tips on 3D modeling using the Rhino 3D software, check out the membership there, where I show a lot of my secret in the membership program. Hope to see you there. Thanks for watching. See you next.